going to show you how to hook up and use your Mon Duo. The Mon Duo is very simple to use. On this side, we have a DC jack for power and then your input screw terminals. Those have a positive and negative, which can also be used for power, and then an input. And to get the controller to trigger, you need to connect the negative to the end. Down here, we have our output terminals. So you have positive and negative for output one, and positive and negative for output two. And over here, we have that special third output. And then on the top here, we have a status LED, and then the play record button. And this is used to either play your animation or record it. Then over here, we have buttons one and two, and those are used to control outputs one and two when you're recording. So here we have an Amon Duo that's already all pre-wired. We have 12 volts coming in on the DC jack, and then we just have a simple push button trigger. Part of the push button is connected to the negative and the other part is connected to the N. On the outputs, for output 1 we just have a simple 12 volt LED. And then output 2 we have a solenoid connected to an air cylinder. So to record, all you need to do is hold the play record button until the LED turns red. Now when you release this button it will immediately start recording. So when you do start recording, you're gonna push one and two, and that will control the outputs. So if I release this, the LED will start flashing, which means it's recording. Pressing one turns on that LED, and two extends that air cylinder. So you can do that in any combination you want until you're happy with your animation, then press play record again to stop recording. To play that back, you can just push the button and it will play it back just as you recorded it. So to stop this at any time, just press that button again. And then the trigger, so this is just a push button trigger, like if an actor was triggering it, you just push it and it will play it back again. The LED is yellow indicating it is playing. So the third output is just one of the things that makes the Amon Duo so special. Let's look at its default behavior. So we changed our setup a little bit. We just have all LEDs now just to simplify things. So if we go ahead and play our animation, this third output turns on. And it's on for the entire length of the animation. So that is the default behavior. This, case, this use case can be used to turn on a light, to light up your prop when it's triggered, or trigger another controller at the exact same time. So this has a couple different modes. So if we unplug the Amon Duo, and then if we hold the play record button and the output to button, and then we plug Back in the Amon Duo, the light will flash blue, we'll keep holding, and that turns red and we can release. So now this is set output three into start mode. So now when we play this, it will only be on for the first second of the animation. And then if we turn this off again, then hold all three buttons, plug it back in, blue LED, and then when it turns red again, we release. This is now in end mode. So when we play, output three is off, and then it's on for one second at the end of the animation. So this can be used to trigger another controller at the end of your animation to start doing something else. So you can use it to daisy chain controllers together. If we turn off again, hold play record, plug back in, when it turns blue we let go and hold the other two, then when it turns red we release. Now this is in start and end mode. So let's record a little bit longer animation here.
Okay. So when we play, it's on for one second at the beginning. And then when the animation is over, it's on for a second at the end. If you want to be more advanced with your third output, you can trigger other controllers. So let's put this third output into end mode by holding all three buttons, releasing when it turns red, and now the third output will turn on for one second after the animation is done recording, or done playing. So let's change this configuration up. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna power this second Amon Duo off of this first one. So we're using the input terminals for power on this second one, and we're just positive to positive, negative to negative. Then the in on this second one, we're gonna wire it up to the negative of the third output. That's important because this won't work if you wire it to the positive, it has to be to the negative. So when we play, we'll see this animation go, and then when it is done, this light will turn yellow, indicating that controller has been triggered. There are other things you can configure by holding buttons uh, when the controller is turned on. So if we hold button one and turn back on the controller, release when the light turns red, we'll see output one turns on. So now output one is in inverted mode. So when we record, you'll see output one stays on and then when we push the button, it turns off. You can do this with output two by holding button two, releasing when it turns red. Now output two and output one are both in inverted mode. You can turn those off by holding those same buttons or you can hold both of them at the same time and it'll toggle both those in inverted mode. If you don't want anyone to mess with your animation, just hold the play record button when turning it on, release when it's red, and now you'll see the purple LED. This indicates that the Amon Duo is in write protect mode, so if I go to record a new animation, you'll see the LED turns off instead of red indicating that you cannot record.